Uh, let's talk about the custom packaging, for instance, because I know a lot of my clients have asked that for me personally. They'll say, oh, I, I want to use a prep center, but what about my custom packaging? Are they going to store it there? I have to buy 500 boxes. And what do I do with these? And how does that work? So can you guys answer that for me as far as how, how to handle people's custom or private label or even storage? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that, that is the nature of the bundle game. You know, I mean, the reference that we used to make back in the day, Kristen, was the hot dogs and the buns. You know, you buy eight uh, and 10. That's just how they come. And you, what do you do with the other two? I mean, you, you'll never buy in quantities of, you know, 80 because it just doesn't work. So what do you do with those ones that sit around? So absolutely, we hold on to those. Um, that has not ever been a problem. Um, we have a storage system set up at our place. Um, if it's just a handful of units here and there, we don't charge storage fees. I'm not looking to make money off of, uh, you know, your tub of, of two items. That, that's just not how it works, right? Um, I'd rather prep them and get them out the door. Um, but so we absolutely will handle the storage of the items. Once we start getting into, you know, where maybe you ordered, you know, a pallet of something and you're missing, I'm going to use an example. Um, let's see, you do calendars and notepads, just as an example. Um, and you ordered 600 calendars and 600 notepads, and you got 600 calendars and 300 notepads because the notepads are back order because that's the world we live in today. We'll do everything we can. We'll ship those 300 with no problems, but then the 300 calendars we have to hold. We will absolutely hold those for you for no problem. Now, if you tell me four months from now is when they're expected to be here, I'm like, uh, okay, we'll make that work. I got to put them on a pallet. I got to put them on the, in the warehouse. And so there may be a storage fee associated with that. Maybe as, as much as $40 per month is the highest we charge for a pallet, uh, and that will kind of depend. But we, we work through, again, we communicate with you about your business. If you call me and we set this up and you're like, hey, listen, I, I, I'm doing this and the profit margin on this is razor thin and my, my, my shipper, you know, they, they're coming, but it's going to be a couple of weeks, whatever. I don't want your 40 bucks. I want your stuff out of my warehouse, just like you do. <laughs> we both get paid when I ship. That's how it works. Your stuff becomes available for sale. So let's get it to Amazon so you can actually make the money from it because you're not making any money with sits in my warehouse. Right. So I don't want your 40 bucks. What I want more is to be able to ship your products so they can sell so you can buy more and send them to me. That's how this works. <laughs>